Visual effects starts with pen strokes on paper. Creativity is very irrational. You gotta rely on your irrational parts to make decisions. My name is Johnny Han. I'm the visual effects supervisor for HBO's The Nevers. The visual effects supervisor works with all the creative heads of the show, from the director, stunts, wardrobe, basically to try to create the things that we can't shoot for real. That could mean people shooting fire out of their hands, all the way to adding a street of London. It really is wherever your imagination can take it. I was that kid in high school running around with a Video 8 camcorder doing in-camera tricks like any kid in the 80s and 90s watching Star Trek and Star Wars gave me the visual effects bug. It really opened up this era of we can do all these crazy things that we never thought we'd be able to film. Visual effects is really just about being passionate about your work. I used to paint a lot on the side, photography, playing the piano. They are all kind of use the same creative instincts. I was 18 and I took an internship in this production company. And even when it was done, I just said, hey, can I hang around, use their computers, and use their stage? Basically, I was that kid who just never left. The advice there is the only way to be really good is to have that obsession to keep refining. And to have that obsession, you've got to really love what you do. Visual effects is so abstract. It's creative, it's technical. So really, the art to it is just how many times are you willing to look at your own work to make it better? What drew me to The Nevers was an opportunity to work on not just another sci-fi series. This show is quite unique in that it explored a potential history that perhaps happened under our own radar. And to fill that world with all the great creative superpowers from a visual effects perspective sounded really exciting. There's not a dull day in this business. You have a team of people you work with to make that imaginary thing manifest into something that you then show a director who's then going to put it in his film that then millions of people around the globe will watch. It's amazing. You have to kind of let your brain go wild. You know, like just go on its own path where you're not trying to answer a specific question. That's often where you end up finding answers is when you're just letting your mind wander. My name is Lisa Lassick and I'm the, one of the editors on The Nevers. My whole life I've been a film lover. I'm constantly inspired by other filmmakers. Every year there's something that comes out that blows me away and I feel like, oh, we, we still have a lot to learn. I think the real reason I fell into editing is because it is like, as they call it, the final rewrite. You do get a chance to hone the story, sometimes even change the story. My goal with every project is to bring the creator's vision to life, to tell the story in the best way possible. What is my signature style? The sad truth of it is my job is to be absolutely invisible. So if you are not noticing my craft, <laughs> I feel like I've done my job correctly. Uh, really what's got to shine is the story. The process of editing starts with dailies. Your job is to kind of keep up with camera as they're shooting and cut everything that comes in that day. The way I know that a take is the take is when I feel moved. I will cry at dailies. I will, you know, laugh. I have immediate reactions. Then we have what's called the editor's cut. And then, of course, there's the long process of visual effects and music. And then, obviously, still honing the cut the whole time. Every show has its own challenges. I'd say the most rewarding part of editing is being able to collaborate with the writers and directors. On such a creative level, you really feel like you're a storyteller. The Nevers, you can't pin it down to drama or science fiction or comedy or horror. It has all of those elements. It is genuinely genre breaking. That's exactly <laughs> the kind of projects I love. I feel like audiences will feel privileged to get a glimpse into this secret world. Oh. 
I see story and I see people's experiences through my own lens. And that lens is influenced by who I am and how I was raised. And a big part of that is growing up as a brown kid in the Bronx. <laughs> My name is Zetna Fuentes, and I directed episode 106 of the first season of The Nevers. My goal for each project stems from my first sort of read of the script and the story. When production starts or things start to get chaotic, I just try and hold on to that so that it can guide the work. I love those first impressions of what the story means and what we're trying to do and to get to see an actor bring a character to life. I personally like a collaborative environment, a safe space where people can do their best work that feels comfortable and safe enough to throw out ideas. I don't want to be the same director next year that I am today. I just hope that I can continue to grow and there's so much left to do. I feel like I'm just scratching the surface. I think it's unbelievably important to encourage diversity, not only in front of the camera, but absolutely behind the camera. Anyone who hasn't had the same opportunity and the same access needs to get in the door. And it's not special treatment. It's just we want the same opportunity that everyone else has had. And it's only going to make our stories richer. It's only going to make the films and the TV shows that we're watching more interesting. There were so many enjoyable moments working on The Nevers. I loved the idea of exploring this group of characters. I usually place myself in the role of the other because I know what that feels like. And so it meant even more to me to think about this story about a group of mostly women, people of color, who are considered on the fringe of society. And I thought exploring that in this really crazy, epic, disturbing, heartbreaking, fun, funny, insane way is something that I think will connect with a lot of people.